So, yep, I'm Mark. And uh, today I'm going to talk about Fakebook, a website I discovered sometime last year when I was planning for a social media lesson in one of my writing classes. So, I'll begin. Using Fakebook for writing practice. Designed to resemble Facebook, Fakebook is an online resource that can be adapted for language teaching. Users can choose almost any famous or historical person of their liking and create a fake Facebook page as if they were that person. As with most social media platforms, users can build a profile by filling in their personal information, posting comments, uploading links, adding friends, and then save their progress with a password protected account. Although designed to teach history, its versatility enables students to practice their writing skills in a general or more targeted language context. So let's take a look. All right, can everyone see the uh, Chrome? Okay, so let's, this is what pops up when you first come to this website. It's very low tech, although this is, you know, a, a tech session. Um, and it's quite nice. It's very user friendly for first time visitors. So it really explains, you know, start by adding a name here, add some profile information. This is the post function that is most important and of course most useful for writing practice. Um, you can add friends here. And for anyone interested, I definitely recommend watching this 90 second video tutorial. So just to show an example how to start, it was originally made for people to play around with, I think, in history class for historical figures. So if you type in here, you know, George Washington, then that picture will come up like that. And even with friends, you know, Tom Cruise, oh, just like that. Um, so I think most people would think, would say this is quite familiar, right? It looks like a classic Facebook, which already is a little old fashioned for some of our students who just, most of them I know have never had a Facebook and they just jump straight to Instagram. Uh, but I think it's familiar enough that students can see that it's trying to act like a social media profile. So like any social media profile, they can quickly write some about information about themselves, add famous friends, you know, write a name. And then most important is this post function. So here you can write your name or for example, the topic of that week's writing assignment, you know. And then you can, you know, write your post. Once it's been posted, you can like, you can comment, just like the traditional Facebook model. Um, most important when you, if you introduce this to your students is that you have to make, I believe, three to five posts. And after you do that, you can do two great things. Number one, you can start adding your own pictures. So instead of having a famous person, you could write your name or a fake name and upload any icon you like or background. And number two, after that, you can save right here to save pressure on the server, at least three posts must be created. So once, uh, when you click that and once it allows you to, um, what happens is it'll ask you for your email, but you don't have to give it if you don't want. And most importantly, it gives you a unique URL and a password you have to make sure you save that information. So I recommend for the first assignment, if you do use this, that you ask your students to tell you what that is. So I'll go back to my slides and just show you an example assignment that I used for my first assignment using this. So in class, you looked at Hitomi's social media profile and corrected her mistakes. Now you will make your own prof profile. This was the, the post lesson assignment we did. 
So first they wrote their five sections and then I just explained to them how to make a profile on Fakebook. And I also gave them an example page. Um, and this is that information here. Let's go back to this. Oh. Great, so here's that fake one. We have Hitomi, the class, right, information. I think this is when there were a few, a few edits I still wanted them to make. You know, they can embed links right i added some famous western celebrities and you can see the five posts i had them make um, just like that so to now i'd like to talk about just some strengths and weaknesses about fakebook to me the major strength currently that most of us are teaching online is that it gets students writing somewhere else than just your standard student management system i don't know what uh what all of you are using at your universities, but at my university, we're using Teams. So, so far, every single thing the student has written has been either directly on Teams or on a, you know, on a Word document through Teams, which is not very realistic in terms of real life where you know, we write things in a lot of places. And so I think a strength of this is that it gets them to write somewhere else. Um, a second strength is that although it is old fashioned, at least it does mimic that social media format. And I think students will find that somewhat familiar and comforting and even just the colors compared to just like a pretty bland Teams student management system. Um, and I think a third strength is that if you get students to submit their writing here, then it's very easy for them to see as the semester goes on, um, all of the writing they've done in one place. Because I think often as instructors, you know, at least in my case, often every week there's an assignment and you make an assignment, you give it to them, they give it to you, you, you know, you grade it, you return it. And if they want to see all the work they've done through the semester, they have to click a few buttons to see every single assignment. Whereas in this case, it's just one website and they can see all of the work they've done and perhaps see how they've improved. A few weaknesses. Um, I think the main one is a lack of interest. Uh, if only used once. As I said earlier, I uh, discovered this along with my coworkers when we were all planning for a social media lesson. And obviously this is a very clear sort of post-class assignment. But if you're only using it for one social media lesson and students know they just have to quickly type in the information, send you a URL, the instructor will look at it and then both of you will forget about it, then they're not gonna be really interested in learning how this works and they're just gonna see it as an extra step and hurdle for them giving an assignment to you. And I think one way to turn that, to change that weakness is to make it clear to students like, no, we're gonna use this for multiple lessons. And there is actually some benefit to you, um, you know, spending some time building up this page to make it look like how you want to. A second weakness is that for students to read or look at each other's posts, they need other the other urls and also most importantly i think this is a major weakness is that if they want to like or comment on someone else's post they also need the password of that account so it's the equivalent of that other student logging into a fellow student's account to like and comment so for example to me a classic you know post-class exercise would be okay write a paragraph about this and then you know go to five of your classmates and like, you know, comment on their paragraphs or something. But if you wanted to do that, it's a little bit more complicated because you'd have to have some sort of online system where everyone has access to everyone's websites and passwords. And once they've logged in, of course, if you have a mean spirited student who ends up, you know, they could just delete posts. And I think it'd be very uh, difficult to track that. Um, and connected to that, I would say is, of course, a danger with this, of course, is that because it isn't the official student management system, right, something like that could happen and it can be lost. So um, I think one way to use this, if you wanted students to write somewhere else, would be to say, hey, please write your writing assignment or your paragraph here. But once it's done, copy and paste it to the official Teams system or whatever you use at your university. And then a final danger is uh, the danger of losing the website and the password. 
And I actually have fallen for this. So for example, when I was preparing for this session today, I went back to my original, this one I had made and I was looking for my password. And I know it's somewhere in my files from last term, but I haven't found it yet, if I'm totally honest. So that's a great example to make sure that for that first lesson, including your own profile, you had better make sure you have a clear organization of all of the URLs and passwords. Um, yeah, and just a couple of more things up here, the startup guide. This is a great Word document provided by Fakebook that very clearly shows you like the simple how to make a, how to make a page. And there's even a generic mock sheet provided for teachers if they want to grade their students' assignments. So yeah, I think this is quite useful. And just to summarize, I think the main way it can be used as a writing tool is that it just provides a different place for students to really uh, share their ideas and write. And it has, and given this um, note function or post function where you can post pictures, URLs, par long paragraphs, um, there's a lot of applicabilities based on the specifics of the course that you're operating. So with that, thank you so much for listening.